Hello, I'm Dr. Priyanka Gupta, and welcome to the Interactive Obstetric Fistula Trainer, developed in conjunction with the Global Competency-Based Fistula Surgery Training Manual. Obstetric fistulas have been nearly eliminated in industrialized countries, but remain prevalent in many developing nations where they result from obstructed labor. The World Health Organization estimates that over 2 million women in Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa suffer from this condition, and each year, approximately 50 to 100,000 new cases develop. The actual number of women afflicted is grossly underestimated as statistics reflect only women who have sought treatment at medical facilities. But studies show that many more women are afflicted with this condition, but live in rural areas and may never present for medical treatment. Obstetric fistulas carry significant complications for women, both medically and psychosocially. Depending on the type, these fistulas allow urine or feces to leak into the vagina and have devastating effects on the woman's daily life. Their odor is so offensive that no one wants to be near them. Their husbands divorce them, and they are often shunned and live alone. The successful repair of these fistulas transforms the lives of these women. Let me introduce you to several women we met on our 2011 trip to Dakar, Senegal. Meet a 40-year-old patient who has lived with a fistula for over 20 years. She had her first surgery one year ago, which was very difficult because her bladder was pulled up behind the pubic bone and completely separated from the urethra. This patient was pregnant at 14 years old. Her child did not survive the cesarean delivery, and she has lived with the fistula for the past 12 years. This patient has had two previous unsuccessful fistula repairs at other hospitals. When asked to describe the impact of waking up without being wet, she said, it is very good, merci. While only 20 years old, this young woman has been living with a fistula for nine years. She lives over 100 kilometers from the hospital in Dakar. Her first pregnancy was in 2002. Her labor lasted two days and her baby died. Typical of women with this condition, she became accustomed to the leaking urine. She was living with her family, but her husband had left her soon after the fistula formed. When I asked her how she felt the morning after surgery, she said, Thank God, this is the first day I have woken up dry in nine years. There are so many more women like them suffering from a similar plight that are in need of surgical repair. While dedicated in-country surgeons have had success in treating women afflicted with fistulas, we have so far lacked an educational tool that captures and then disseminates such expertise. Our primary goal for the interactive obstetric fistula repair trainer is to enhance the existing in-country training programs and thereby, number one, enhance the skills of the surgeons, number two, support the surgeon's self-confidence to continue practicing fistula repair over the long term, number three, provide the program graduates with an ongoing resource for reference and pre-op rehearsal, and number four, provide training materials for OR staff. The result of this will be more surgeons practicing fistula repair and doing so more competently using a standardized model. With this project, we will be able to provide just-in-time training and assessment of these skills to an expanded group of surgeons, surgical staff, and medical professionals in developing countries so they can perform these complex repairs safely and effectively. We are developing the trainer in conjunction with the International Federation of Gynecology and Obstetrics, FIGO, Global Fistula Committee, employing their standardized fistula surgery training manual. We propose to work in conjunction with FIGO to develop and deploy a PC-based interactive simulation trainer targeted at providing education and training for fistula repair in Africa and other developing areas of the world. We are utilizing cases recorded with our lead surgeon and author, Dr. Serene Magege, in Dakar. In addition, we have an editorial board composed of surgeons and education specialists from Kenya, Nigeria, Ethiopia, and the UK, each of whom is on the FIGO Global Fistula Committee. This kind of trainer is crucial as the majority of what the surgeons, surgical staff, and medical professionals need to learn to complete a procedure safely and effectively is cognitive in nature. Teaching surgical judgment along with the ability to recognize tissue planes are two of the most challenging and time-consuming concepts in surgical education. The fistula repair training modules not only address these issues, but are a robust, elegant, and engaging way to learn. 
This will be a revolutionary international program, which is low cost and easily accessible to surgeons and will benefit thousands of women in the developing world. We thank you for your time and interest in this project.